How's it going? My name is Michaela, and uh, da, 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 da. I've been busy with a lot of things. Not only working with Kawaiku in Fukuoka City, but I also recently moved into a new place. For reasons unexplained. I love this place, and I think it's a much better environment for making videos. So now we're back on track. Yeah. <laughs> a video about something that I don't even really understand, to be honest. Blood types. You see, in Japan, blood types are the equivalent of horoscopes. I'm a Capricorn. That's right. I'm a beautiful goat fish. Depending on your blood type, you have certain personality traits and that's just who you are. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you've lived in Japan for a long time and started to make a few Japanese friends, this question might come up when you're at a party or when you're drinking or when you're out and having fun. You kind of saw me kind of Blood types can be divided into four categories. A, B, AB, and O. To put it simply, people with blood type A tend to be calm, patient, sensitive, responsible, stubborn, and unable to relax. People with the blood type B tend to be individualist, strong, optimistic, creative, flexible, wild, and unpredictable. Bah! People with the blood type AB tend to be cool, rational, sociable, popular, critical, and indecisive. Finally, people with the O blood type tend to be trendy, loyal, passionate, self-confident, independent, ambitious, and a little bit vain. personalities by blood type is so popular in Japan, people will often try to guess what your blood type is based on the type of person you are. But blood types are taken a little more seriously. For example, in Japan, sometimes when choosing a partner in a relationship, people will consider what their partner's blood type is and whether or not they are compatible with that blood type. There also used to be a story about companies profiling their future employees based on what blood type they were. I'm not gonna hire those B gutta. As for me, I think it is something fun to kind of talk about, but I don't think it should be taken so seriously because there are exceptions to everything always and blood freaks me out. What's your blood type? Do you even know? A lot of foreigners don't know their own blood type because we are never told this information. Um, it was, it's never really necessary for us in North America. But I, act, I actually found out my blood type for the first time when I came here and I had a blood test. It was traumatizing and I'll never forget what they told me. So what's your blood type? Let me know in the comments and uh, let's talk about it. Um, my dog is making noises. I will see you next week. I promise I will make a video next week. Ah! Okay, let's talk soon. Bye!